Hey, so you heard about a college buddy who went off to seminary. Or maybe you have an aunt that attends seminary. Or maybe somebody in your local church actually came up to you and said, you should think about going to seminary. And you're thinking, what exactly is a seminary? Well, stick around for a few minutes and I'll try to give you some brief answers. Be back in just a second. Hey, thanks for sticking around. And this is askabibleprof.com, where you get straightforward answers to your questions about the Bible and Christianity. I'm Dr. Monty Shanks. And in this video blog, we'll be primarily discussing evangelical seminaries. So that's something you'll want to keep in mind. So I went online and gathered a couple of definitions that you would commonly find in a web search. So here are the definitions I came up with online. An online dictionary said this, seminary is a college that prepares students to be priests, ministers, or rabbis. Wikipedia defined a seminary in this manner, seminary is an educational institution for educating students in scriptures and theology to generally prepare them for ordination as clergy, academia, or ministers. And then one of those quick search websites gave this definition. A seminary is a graduate institution that prepares people for ministry as pastors, priests, and rabbis. Well, those definitions are kind of helpful, but to borrow an old line from a car commercial, today's evangelical seminaries are not your grandfather's seminary. And what I mean by that is, today's evangelical seminaries are a place where somebody can go who wants to grow deeper in their knowledge of the scriptures their understanding of the Christian faith, or how to impact their world for Christ. In other words, today's evangelical seminaries are for everybody. They're not just finishing schools for preachers and pastors anymore. You can go to a seminary and learn more about the Bible if that's what you hunger and thirst for. And so you're probably thinking, does that mean anybody can attend an evangelical seminary? Well, pretty much yes. Now, it is true that, like one of the definitions said, evangelical seminaries tend to be graduate institutions. And what that means is they offer graduate degrees, generally master's degrees or PhDs, which as a prerequisite to get one of those degrees, you should be or must be a college graduate. But you don't have to be a college graduate to attend a seminary. In other words, you can go through a graduate degree program and learn all the same things that some of the other people who have college degrees are learning, but at the end of your program, you'll simply receive what is known as a certificate of graduation. So all that really means is, although you're not a college graduate or although you didn't graduate from a college, you went through the same exact program as the students around you. But since you don't have a college degree, you can't get a graduate degree. You only get a certificate. Now, that may not be important to you, especially if your purpose is only to learn more about the Bible, more about the Lord Jesus Christ and Christianity, and to be better equipped for ministry. If that's your only goal for attending a seminary, and you don't care whether you actually get a graduate degree, then you can go to an evangelical seminary and get the same education as other people who just happen to graduate from college. And that's one of the best kept secrets of evangelical seminaries. A lot of evangelical seminaries will accept people who've never been to college. Now, there may be some of you out there who are thinking, you know, not only do I already have a college degree, I actually have another master's degree in a different discipline. So I'm not really interested in earning a second graduate degree. Well, that doesn't mean you can't attend a seminary. You know, many seminaries allow people to register or enroll as a, quote, special status student, unquote. Or there may be another designation that means the same thing. But basically what that means is you're communicating to the seminary. You really don't have an intention on completing a degree program but you still want the privilege of attending the seminary and taking their courses. Now, 
Approaching your education that way has a real benefit to it, and it is this. It allows you to cherry pick the courses that you're most interested in. In other words, you don't have to take all the courses required in order to graduate with a degree. You only need to take the courses that you're most interested in. And that might be the best approach for you when you're considering attending a seminary. So some of you out there may be thinking, well, that's great. If anybody can attend a seminary, then I'll just go and audit the courses. Well, generally speaking, that's not a good deal for either the student or the seminary. And here are a few reasons why. Having worked at a seminary and worked in enrollment and known students who both pay for their coursework and audit their course, coursework, generally speaking, people who audit their coursework don't tend to take it very seriously and become apathetic and don't do well as they would if they were paying for it. Because the reality is this, if you have skin in the game, then you, need, you tend to take your coursework seriously. So... If you're not really interested in paying for the coursework at a seminary, then you probably should educate yourself. And there are plenty of books out. Uh, there are YouTube videos. You can buy CD lectures. You can pretty much educate yourself if you're really not interested in attending a seminary. And generally speaking, seminaries don't like to allow people to audit their courses. Some of them don't like, allow you to audit courses at all, while others cap the amount of courses you can audit. And their thinking is this, after you audit a few courses, you should know whether you want to attend the seminary or not. And they're betting that you will. So, you know, they allow you to audit one or two courses, and then they expect you to decide whether you want to take your education seriously. So you have to keep that in mind. The reality is this, seminaries are not ministries. They're real educational institutions where real people work and have real careers and almost all of them are exclusively supported by the tuition fees of their paying students. So you really need to keep that in mind when you think about attending a seminary. So some of you are probably thinking, well, why can't I get all those things at my local church? Well, it is true that there are some local churches who have the capacity and the resources necessary to adequately educate and train people for the ministry. But those tend to be very rare churches. Your average church just doesn't have the resources or the capacity to give you a comprehensive education of the Bible and training for ministry. So if you're feeling like, you know, you need more or you'd like to go to a greater depth in your understanding of the scriptures or your capacity to minister, then you might want to consider attending an evangelical seminary. So what's the bottom line? Well, the bottom line is this. If you thirst for a more comprehensive knowledge of the Bible and the scriptures, or you just want a deeper understanding of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Christian faith, or you feel a need to be better equipped in order to have a greater impact in the world around you for the Lord Jesus Christ, then attending an evangelical seminary may be God's will for you. Because the tragic reality is this. Churches today are filled with biblically illiterate people, and some of them are doing greater damage to the cause of Christ than good. Churches need more people who are biblically grounded and love the Lord Jesus Christ. So with that in mind, this is AskABibleProf.com. I'm Dr. Monty Shanks, and may the Lord richly bless you and all those you love as you seek to magnify Him and increase His glorious kingdom. Thanks for watching. And God bless.